Pele. From humble beginnings to football's first global superstar. The three-time World Cup winner is regarded by many as the greatest player of all time. Brazilian football legend Edson Arantes do Nascimento, better known as Pelé, has died aged 82 in São Paulo. Pelé's passing at the Albert Einstein Hospital in Brazil's largest city follows a prolonged period of ill health and a battle with colon cancer. The football icon had a tumor removed from his colon in September last year, and had been visiting the hospital on a regular basis. Fresh fears for his health emerged when he was readmitted for treatment in November. Reports followed that Pele had been moved to palliative care due to chemotherapy treatment no longer having the required effect. The worst was confirmed on Thursday as news of Pele's passing prompted mourning for one of the most iconic figures to have graced any sport. As a three-time World Cup winner, Pele forged a legacy which established him among the greatest footballers, if not the greatest, of all time. His death marks the end of remarkable life and career. One which took him from a modest background and propelled him to become football's first global superstar. Here, we look back on the life and career of a true sporting great. Pele was born on October 23, 1940, in the town of Trace Coricos, Minas Gerais, but he grew up in poverty in Bauru around 330 kilometers and 4 hours from Sao Paulo. His family, headed by ex Fluminense football player Dondino and his wife Celeste Arantes, originally gave him the nickname, Dico. But the way he mispronounced the name of his favorite player, Vasco da Gama goalkeeper Bile, later earned him the name Pele. A young Pele helped his family by earning extra money working in tea shops but could not afford a proper football. Instead, he practiced by playing with a sock stuffed with newspaper and then tied with string. After turning out for several amateur clubs, he led Bauru Athletic Club's junior team to two Sao Paulo State Youth Championship wins. Pelé gained confidence by playing futsal with adults as a 15-year-old. His coach at Bauru, Waldemar de Brito, took him for a trial at Santos in 1956 and told the coastal club's directors that Pelé would be the greatest football player in the world. Pelé impressed enough to receive his professional contract in June that year and scored on his debut on September 7 when Santos beat Corinthians de Santo André 7-1. Tipped to become a future superstar by the media, he was a starter by the time the 1957 season began. As the top scorer in the league in 1957, Pelé was called up to the Brazil national team just 10 months after turning professional. To this day, he remains the Selecao's youngest debutante after featuring against Argentina in a 2-1 defeat at the Maracana in Rio de Janeiro aged just 16 years old. Pelé stood out as the complete forward, able to effortlessly switch from a goal-scoring striker to a deeper-lying playmaker who provided assists with his superlative vision and precision passing. Gifted with flawless dribbling and a repertoire of skills, he also possessed supreme mental toughness and was unfazed by constant kicking from the opposition. Pele's exploits for Santos saw him selected for the 1958 World Cup in Sweden despite nursing a knee injury. After he recovered and his teammates demanded he was picked by Vicente Fiala, Pele became the youngest ever player at the World Cup at the time. Brazil beat the USSR 2-0 in his debut and Pelé made an instant impact by assisting Vava's second goal in the third match of the first round. Pelé scored the first of eight career goals at the World Cup in the quarterfinal against Wales in a 1-0 win. In the semi-final against France, with the score 2-1, Pelé netted a stunning second-half hat-trick in 23 minutes, and went on to bag a brace in a 5-2 win over host Sweden in the final.